Hello everyone. My name is Franklin Avangana. Welcome to my online tutorial, where I give you the insight on emerging technological issues affecting matters in education. Subscribe to my channel, so that you don't miss out on my upcoming tutorials. Subscription is free, you won't be charged anything instead, you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Welcome, and keep on learning. Now, I've already logged into the T-Pad as the head of institution. Now, on my right, I'll move to appraisals. And then, under appraisals, we'll get this drop-down. If you can't see it, just click on appraisals. And then we have appraiser appraisals. So, we'll click it to get the following drop-down. We have pending appraisals and then scheduled meetings. So, I'll click on scheduled meetings. Once you are there, we'll see a notification basing on the number of scheduled meetings that you have. Now, click on the icon for scheduled meetings. The following page will appear and you can see this is a scheduled appraisal meeting. I can update the schedule so that maybe I can push the date ahead or I can start the meeting. So for now, I'll start the meeting immediately. Once I've clicked on start the meeting, we'll get the following interface. Now in this case, we shall update the teaching standards. So click on update standards. The following page will appear. Now you will see the five teaching standards and you're supposed to update all the standards. Now, we already have the appraisal weight, we have the appraiser weight, the remaining part is on a grid weight. Under the status, you can see, is weighting the yellow tabs. Now, for you to update the weights, click on the update rating tabs. So, I click on the first one. following page will appear. Now, scroll to your the right hand side to reveal the icons or rather the tabs for you to update the weights. Now, I'll zoom out so you can see these action buttons have been now revealed. Now, to update the agreed weight, just click on the action button. Now, as you can see, you can update the weight. You can agree the given weight by the appraiser. You can disagree the weight. Now, to update the weight, it means you're going to type in manually. And then, under agreed weight, once you click on agreed weight, the system will automatically pull out the appraiser weight as a grid weight. So this weight, like for the first case, we have 2.00, it will be pulled out into this section so that we'll have 2.00. We have update. For updating, you type in manually, for example, Submit, click OK. So you can see the agreed weight has been updated accordingly. I'll move to the next. I'll agree the weight is successful. 
so you can key in under the update wait here you type manually under grid it will simply pull out the appraiser weight when you disagree you are calling for arbitration so i'm satisfied with the appraiser weight they are uh, fair enough so i pull out the appraiser weights as agreed weights we'll do this until we finish all the sections areas have been updated accordingly now when you scroll down you can uh, view the comments under uh, professional gaps comments you can view them so they are there and uh, you can as well view the appraiser comment on the gaps if at all is there so I'll click on next You can see the first section is done it is now green in color i've updated all the sections i'll do the same for comprehensive learning environment teacher professional development teacher conduct professionalism participation in professional learning community until all of the sections have been done so let me do it. Once I finish, I'll come back to you. summary on a given uh, section or other area click, click on next now all the sections are now done you can see the status is showing done and the tabs are now green in color to make maybe corrections you can simply click on update and do the necessary changes so the next thing is for you to go back to appraisal so we have been updating the standards we have learners progress just want to check to be sure that that section is also done now to reveal the learners progress click on the cpc learners progress then come back to regular learners and the following information can now be uh, revealed so there you can only view there's nothing you can change 
So the next step, we'll also click on back to the result down there or just above that summary. Now for lesson attendance, you can also view there's nothing you can do there. You can amend, update or change anything in that section. I can only view the lessons attendance. So I'll click back to appraisal. And then now that all the sections are done. I remember the appraisal is 100% complete. It was scheduled for meeting and uh, I've updated the agreed ratings. All the sections have been done and I'm sure that they are okay. I can now view or finish the appraisal. So this is the summary. Scroll down and you will see that tab finish appraisal meeting. Click on OK. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial. If so, give this video a big thumbs up, comment, and share. Above all, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell on so that you don't miss out on my upcoming uploads. Thank you for watching. See you then. Bye.